The Pixie Cut Diaries. Episode 1, Wash Day Woes. Please do not judge my towel wrapping skills, but we are all done with the shampoo and conditioner part of the wash day. And because I have to touch on my relaxer, I am going to do that part tomorrow. So this is going to be a two day event because girl, we had time for that night. Plus I just manipulated my scalp a lot. I don't want to risk my scalp hurting, itching or burning because you know, once you have done a lot of manipulation to your scalp, then you are more susceptible to chemical burns from your relaxer. We're just gonna let our scalp relax for the night and then tomorrow I'm gonna go ahead and do my relaxer, touch up to my roots and to that back to where the kitchen's at. The kitchen is not forgiving when it comes to 4C hair, okay? So here's my hair. My goal is to have a bob next year, like a little short little bob. Um, I'm probably gonna have the extensions or you know a little, a little something to create fullness with my hair because I do have thin hair. Episode 2 is gonna be the cut mode and style. If you guys are loving this little series that I'm doing then thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below and let me know how you're loving the series because y'all I've been thinking about doing this for a very long time and I'm really glad that I'm getting around to doing it because I know a lot of y'all are here because of the pixie cut and a lot of y'all are here for other things but I want to cater to the pixie cut girlies because you know y'all need love too. Um, I'm not going to trim too much. I do want to like clean up my sides and stuff but that's going to be for the next episode. So right now we're going to be using Hair Girl Foil by Bio7. This is from years of wearing wigs and not ashamed to you know let you guys know but we are in the process of growing her out I definitely want to do a rosemary rinse that's going to be a serious spread of a soil as well I'm going to take the leave-in conditioner processing caps and just let my hair sit in this for a little bit and then I'll transition to my tonic. This is a really good wash day. I'm so glad that I got this set from Shea Moisture. See you guys tomorrow. sit for a little bit not too long or you know get to where it starts tingling and I know we're done but yes yeah, so I'm gonna keep this on for a good 15 minutes and then come back and wash it out and I'll see you guys in 15 okay y'all so I'm having some technical difficulties but that's why we got a phone but we got a 15 and it's really good quality so I'm having technical difficulties with my camera I think it's a memory card problem Honestly, y'all, I dropped my camera yesterday when I was doing some filming, and I feel like every time I try to get back into content and like do my big one, the devil tries to the devil tries to bring me down. He tries to stop what I have going on and make me go through hoops and hurdles. That's okay because I am highly blessed, highly favored, and God is gonna make a way for me. So I'm thinking that it's my memory card and 
yeah, I'm probably just gonna have to get a new memory card, but I did go and test to see if my files, my previous files that I recorded yesterday were still good and they are. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish editing and record the rest of this pixie cut wash day. This pixie cut wash day on my phone. So with that, it did not capture me washing out the relaxer. So y'all missed that part. And I also washed it out using the ISO Plus neutralizing shampoo, which is perfect for neutralizing all relaxer types. My skin just be sensitive to everything, so I don't know what that is. But my hair is squeaky clean of the chemicals. So yeah, let's go ahead and dye this hair. Since I can't find my gloves, I'm going to be using a plastic bag to protect my fingers. And yeah. After my relaxer, my hair just feels so moisturized and not brittle, not frail, not crunchy. I guess because maybe I am not, maybe I didn't do a full, full relaxer. Um, if I wanted to do like my full head and like get into the crevices, get into every strand. I did a partial relaxer and I only did like my roots and then like my areas where I know I need to have it really relaxed, which is my back. Oh y'all, I forgot to mention, I did pick up this new product at the store today. This is from the brand It's A 10. And I've seen Janae Naylor using this in one of her videos. If y'all don't follow Janae Naylor, what are y'all doing? She's also known as Hilo Lux. I love her down. Can't wait to use this. I'm probably just gonna use this after I wash this out so that I can restore some moisture and some strength into my hair. And yeah. Mm -hmm. 